not by but not by touching these elderly people because even if you kill them they'll still at the last point they'll still believe in their religion but they know who will we who shall we attack they're youngsters that's why they make special trips they make special they make they organize special um re, re, special events so our youngsters can take part in them to bring them closer and eventually take them to their introduce them to their own religion the audience we should we should abide by the by the warning of the quran because if we do not we should we will enter the fire of hell خاندان کے یہ ننے منے جو اپنے دل کی گہرائیوں سے نہایت پاکیزہ خیالات ظاہر فرما رہے تھے الولد و سر الابی ہی بیٹا اپنے باپ کی عادت پر ہوتا ہے ہم دہی تعالیٰ مناظر اسلام حضرت مولانا محمد عمر صاحب رحم اللہ نے زندگی بھر دین اسلام کی خدمت فرمائی اور پھر ان کے جانشین سابزادگان نے آپ کی عادت کو اپنایا اور بہم اللہ پھر ان کے سابزادگان کے آگے سابزادگان نے اپنے جد امجد کی عادت کو بھی اپنا لیا ہمیں امید ہے کہ یہ سلسلہ اسی طرح چلتا رہے گا اور دین اسلام کے بارے میں کل کے خدا کی اسی طرح رہنمائی کی لوگ کرتے رہیں گے اللہ پاک اس ننے منے سابزادی کی عمر میں علم میں برکت فرمائے آمین 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 حضرت علامہ مولانا مناظر اعظم حضرت مولانا محمد عمر صاحب رحمہ اللہ کے خاندان کے ایک اور چشم چراغ جناب مولانا صاحب زادہ نور الاقتاب صاحب تشریف لاتے ہیں وہ بھی اپنے پاکیزہ خیالات کے سے اظہار فرماتے ہیں نعرہ تقبیر نعرہ رسالت Honorable audience, distinguished Olemai Kiram, I haven't got the time to do a speech because I understand that this method will finish at uh, half past five, so I must be very brief. But I hope that what I will say you will understand and especially the young people here will try to learn something. <laughs> الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الذي أوصل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو قره المشركون إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين عملوا سلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما to Allah, the creator of the equation, the creator of the world, the creator of mankind, the most powerful, the most beneficent, and the most merciful. He is such a being, he is such a power, that we do not, we cannot estimate his power. He created mankind. He created many other mankind. He does not need us. We need him. The subject of the divinity of Allah is not important here. I would like to make one point before I leave. Because I understand we haven't got much time. The ayat-e-kareemah that I have read, Allah, the simple 
translation is he who sent his he who sent his prophet with the true religion for the guidance of mankind so that it may be dominant amongst other religions and most people will be pagans and they will forget him that's the overall summary of this meaning of Messiah but I would just like to concentrate on the word true religion and then I should leave everyone here he analyzes he interprets <coughs> the, the Quran what he reads through his own mind now being a law student I translate this ayat into my mind true religion what is the definition of true religion in my opinion the definition of a true religion is not only a religion which tells you how to do but the heat not only a religion which tells you how to prostrate not only a religion which tells you how to pray but I believe that a true religion means the code of life that's according to my opinion but being a law student as I said I analyze this ayat and I say to myself but I'm a law student lawyers usually are very shaky about believing in people they do have a bit of a superiority complex they don't believe people very easily and when it comes to religion they have no views at all but what makes me even stronger what makes me even greater about make, makes me feel even greater about my religion when I look at this ayat dream I see that Allah Ta'ala when I study law when I study law I have to refer to other books when I want to study the law of contract I have to look at the contract books when I have to look at the law of family law I have to look at family law books when I want to read about public law I read the sovereignty of parliament when I read them when I want to read about what the judges have said 1800 years ago I look at judicial precedent when I want to know about constitutional law I look again at the public law books when I want to find about matrimonial law I look in the family law books when I want to about when I want to find out about commercial law I look in the commercial law books when I want to find out about company law I look in the company law books when I want to find about administrative law I look again in the public law books when I want to find about the law of torts I look in the tort books any type of law every different type of law I have to look at different books but what things make what thing makes me greater what things makes me even more beautiful about my religion why I feel that my religion is the most beautiful because the Quran is the only book which contains all the laws in one book <laughs> discussing family law before we actually study family law but I said to him I agree with you in 1925 Europe or rather let's say Great Britain decided that a woman is not the property of a man but look at the beauty of Islam look at the beauty of the Holy Prophet 1400 years ago he gave right to women you are giving right to women in 1925 women started to vote in the 18th century 